Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the New York Yankees. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go and taking the ball for the Yankees, number 12. Well, he features a lot of arm side run on his fastball now. To opposite handed hitters, it can be good. You get your arms extended, but for same side hitters, it can run in on your hands and really tie you up. So you've got to force him out over the plate if you're hitting from the same side that he throws. We'll see if this lineup can figure it out and if they can square that running fastball up. And first offering is fouled off. First pitch, 1 o'clock. The wind of the pitch. To the right side. Throws to first. One up, one down. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. Right fielder. Number 17. And now the right fielder, number 17. Ripped on a line. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. That is third. The second baseman. Number zero. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Cardinals, number zero. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh well, you know, with two out and nobody on, it's going to take something special to get a run across, so why not? You've got some pop. Swing for the fences. Hit weakly on the ground. On the run, throw to first. Oh. And that's the third out. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We go to the bottom of the first. Our starter in this one, Jesse Hale. What do you have on him, Siggy? Well, expect to see the ball in play a lot with him on the mound in this one, and that means the defense got to stay on your toes. I think he can help his guys out by working quickly so that guys don't have time for their minds to wander. He's going to try to force weak contact, miss the barrel of the bat. Command and movement is everything for this guy. Bottom of the first, and now number 31. Number 31. And that one wrapped foul. The 0 1. And there's a ball. And a pitch. And another ball. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Bell makes the catch. And there's one down. Batting second. As we take a, a look now shot. at the New York Number Yankees two. lineup. So digging in, number two. Here we go. Ah. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There's the swing in a miss. Left hand batter waits. And there's a foul ball. Up the middle. He dives, but he can't make the catch. 
No throw. He's safe at first. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, right up against it with two strikes right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Babe Root watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. Riding to the plate. Good eye right there. Oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And the righty deals. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. And he deals. That's towards center. Number 28 settles under it. Squeezes it. Out number two. Batting four. The left fielder, Bob. And up next Musel. for New York, Bob Musel. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And a 1-0. And a foul ball. Number two leads off first with two down to the inning. And a count one and two. Well, he's ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it, hit it hard, had the distance, but just too much hook to it. So might want to make a little bit of an adjustment, let it travel a little more and see. If he... Ah, that ends the inning. So we take a break. Through an inning, no score here on the show. Back here at the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Jim Leading Booker. For the, Cardinals. the first baseman. Jeff Booker. The right-hander back to work. And fouled off. The pitch. That's ripped. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's the third baseman. Les Bell. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Lifted in the air, right center field. Number 31, sizing this one up, tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. Batting six, the left fielder, Chick Hafey. Chick Hafey, next up for the Cardinals. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Grounder might be two, and that chance handled. Off balance beat, there's one, and he'll eat it and be happy with the out. That Tough play right there. Didn't really the have catcher. enough time to set his feet wow. and make a strong, oh, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And now the Cardinals catcher, Bob O'Farrell. Pick off with the first, no, Hafey, back on a dive. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Out 
Out towards left center. Musel settles under this one. And that will end the inning. So one left for the Cardinals. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Now it's the rookie first baseman. Number four. Leading off for the Yankees. The first baseman. Number four. Hale back to work. Up the middle. In plenty of time to first. One up, one down. Batting six. The second baseman. Number six. And now the rookie second baseman, number six. First pitch, just misses. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Booker settles under it and makes the catch. Two up, two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way that to make seven. him work a little the harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is Yo. just mowing them down. Duke. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. So up next, Joe Dugan. Next pitch has popped up. Bell settles underneath it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So the Yanks go in order. We'll move to the third with no score. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in, number 25. Leading off for the Cardinals. The shortstop, number 25. Here comes a pitch. Wait. Lifted in the air, out to left. Musel makes the grab, one pitch and one out. Batting nine, the designated hitter, number 11. And now the DH, number 11. Gets under and pops it up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a couple of quick outs. The batter, number 28. So the lineup flips over. Now up for St. Louis, number 28. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. Sends it to first. That's the third out. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Step for the bottom of the third. Here's the catcher, number 20. Leading off for the Yankees. The catcher. Hale, back number to work. 20. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Pitch is in for a strike. That's strike two. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Righty delivers. Bounce to third. Knocks it down. And he beats it. He's safe. Well, he found himself behind in the count right Not there, enough. but he didn't give in. No, the pitch was in him. and off the plate. Yeah. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing.
And a batter now, Pat Collins. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. In there for strike one. Rudder at first with no outs here. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. 0-2 now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0-2. Stays alive. And that one fouled off. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Got him. And there's one down. Number 31 stepping in Number now for the Yankees. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. And a right-hander deals. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff Number single. Back-to-back -to -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And stepping in for the Yankees, number two. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now, this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. <laughs> At the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Owen Chu now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. New inning getting started and stepping in for the Cardinals, number 17. Leading off for the Cardinals, the right fielder, number 17. And a pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. The pitch. Fought off foul. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. So he goes the opposite way with that one, and they grab the lead. It's one nothing. That's just a great feeling as a hitter. You let the ball travel, track it pretty nicely. He's almost beat there, but he gets the bat head in time, and it's true enough to stay fair. I mean, that's a good feeling when you can hit an opposite field home run, and he did it right there.
Next to hit, number zero. In the air, right field. He makes the grab, one away. Up next to the Cardinals, the first baseman. And next will be yeah. the cleanup hitter, Jim Booker. Booker. Ground ball right side. On to first. Oh. And they get the out. Now batting. The third baseman. Let's fill. Two outs. Base is empty. And now here is Les Bell. And first offering is fouled off. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Cards on the board first with this solo blast. It's now a one-nothing ball game. And welcome back, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Babe Ruth, the right fielder. Babe Ruth. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Nope. The next offering misses. And that is ball one. Left hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. On the ground to third. Sneaks through, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Now batting, left fielder. Now, Bob, Bob. Musel. Musel. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh one. And a pitch. And now it's even up. The pitch. And a foul ball left side. Well, that's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. It's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. Double play ball to second. Good feed. That's one. Drops it, but they're saying it was on the transfer. The back. Number four. Number four. Stepping in now for the Yankees. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. No throw. He's in there safely. And a foul ball. Runner at second here, one gone. This one in the air, center field. And there's two away. Now back, number six. Number six, stepping in now for the Yankees.
in there, and it's 0-1. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Next pitch is outside. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a one-two. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Go! Oh! That fires up the home crowd. And just like that, they're out front. It's 2-1. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. So two down. Down the third baseman, Joe Dugan. Up next he game. popped out his first time. The third baseman, Joe Dugan. And that's in there for strike one. And there's the strike. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up. He can go away. He can add velocity. He can subtract. Here's the 0-2. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. And that's the inning. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. We go to the top of the fifth. Now up for St. Louis, Chick Hafey. Leading off for St. Louis, the left fielder, Chick. The pitch. Hafey. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The 1-0. Ground ball to the right side. Steps on first yeah. for the out. Up next for the Cardinals, the catcher, Bob O'Farrell. And here's the catcher, Bob O'Farrell. Flied out his first time. And the first offering is not close. One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. He doesn't have a play, and they come away without a doubt. Now that number 25. And now the shortstop, number 25. Wait. To third, Dugan. Off balance feed, there's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. 
Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Bottom of the inning, here's the Yankees catcher now. Number 20. For the Yankees, the catcher, number 20. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. The wind of the pitch. Popped up. And puts the squeeze on that. One down. Well, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, now that Maddie. pitch was right the down the middle. Hitter. I think he got a little Matt. too excited, came Maddie. out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Pat Collins, the next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. A wide to kick the pitch. In the air, right field. Makes the catch. And there's two down. Now batting. Number 31. Next to hit, number 31. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone and he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup next offering is down low well on the mound very efficient able to produce an outcome it seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat the 2-0 is in for a strike On the ground, right side, and it goes just foul. Tapped softly on the ground. Tosses to first, inning over. Yanks held in check as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, number 11. Leading off for the Cardinals, the designated hitter, number 11. The right-hander back to work. Rolled over to third. And a quick out, number one. The batter, number 28. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. At the play, number 28. On, Bounced up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Number got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, number 17. And that one is lifted in the air. Number 31, moving under this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Yankees two and the Cardinals one. Bottom of the six. And stepping in for the Yankees, number two. Leading off for the Yankees. The shortstop, number two. And the right hander back to work. That one clips the outside corner, going one. Left hand batter waits. On the ground. Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. 
Now battle. That pretty much split the zone it. down the middle, Man. and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And here is Babe Ruth. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Here comes the manager out of the Cardinals dugout, and he'll make a move to the pan. Number 15 on the pitch out of the pen here. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Over to first, too late. The sack bunt turns into a single. Well, from the time you're a little later, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. So here's the cleanup hitter, Bob Musel. In there for strike one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Number two, the lead runner at second. Number three, on at first with nobody out. And the pitch. And one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Right into the plate. Foul ball. Right handed reliever. Now a slow roller to second. Fires over to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and now beat it into the ground. Number four. So digging in, number four. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. That hits the dirt. 1-0. and oh. Oh, He's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. The 1-1. One -one. On the ground, right side. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Next for New York, number six. He had a big swing back in the fourth. The two-run homer, and that helped them get the lead. And what a swing it was, Boob. Poetry in motion. And those are the type that you hardly feel when you connect with the baseball. Just so smooth, a great feeling off the bat. That one's in there on one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. The pitch. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. Well done behind the dish. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Good job at damage control right there. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. Yankees three and the Cardinals one.
Top of inning number seven. And stepping in for the Cardinals, number Big zero. The, card. the second baseman. Number zero. The wind and the pitch. And takes low for ball one. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Here comes a pitch. A little out front there as he swings through it. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Number 18, up and throwing. Number 19, warming up as well. Kicks and fires. In the air, right side. Ruth has this one sized up. Puts it away for the out. Up next to the Cardinals, the first baseman, Jim. So up next, Booker. Jim Booker. Next pitch has popped up, and he makes the catch. Two away down. The batter, the third baseman, left. Bell. Les Bell now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. And the righty deals. Ball. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Ball to strike. Into center. Number 31 drifts towards it. That is the inning. And Ladies down and in order, Golden Cardinals. Score holds, it's 3-1. Set for the last half of the seventh. Leading off, Joe Dugan. Leading off for the Yankees. The third and baseman, pitch. Joe Dugan. That one's in there. That's strike one. Righty delivers. And it's even up. Right hander kicks deals. Foul ball there. That one misses in the dirt. The wind of the pitch. Three. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. And now the catcher comes now up to him. Number 20. Number 20. First pitch, and he just misses. And the right-hander deals. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. On the ground, right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. The designated hitter, Pat 
Collins. Pat Collins will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. Ball one there. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Two down, nobody on. And there's a foul ball. Next offering is fouled back. The one two. And fouled off. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. And a foul ball. And he deals. To the right side, Booker collects it. Wide throw, and it gets away. And he'll pull into second with two gone. Maybe just a little lack of concentration on that throw. Two out, you think you've got the play made. Guys are starting to move off the field towards the dugout, and then everyone's got to come back. Sometimes you take that throw for granted, and that's all it takes to keep the inning going. So two down now, and here is number 31. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good eye right there. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Collins on its second with two down. Out to short. Safe at first as they can't make the play. I love now that now swing, and I'm sure his hitting coach two. does even more. Took the pitch right on the low outside corner of the zone and just ripped it for a base hit and that's easier said than done number two stepping in now for the Yankees first offering and it just misses corners are occupied with two down and that one hammered and off the base of the wall in comes the runner from third and they're up by three Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Picks himself up an RBI. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. And up next for New York, Babe Ruth. there and it's 0-1 in the dirt blocked nice job behind the plate there at the belt and fire Next offering is outside. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Two outs, 
two in scoring position. This one in the dirt. No advance from the runners. Three and one now. Three one now. And they're all loaded up. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Now a mound visit coming. And with the reliever just beginning throwing out there in the bullpen, this should buy a little more time to get him loose. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Cy Johnson. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. How'd you like this? Summon from the bullpen, playing the Yankees, bases loaded. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind the one. Two outs. That one to first. Booker takes it to the bag, and that is the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the eighth. Now up for St. Louis, for St. Chick Hafey. We talk about guys Chick. with good speed, Hafey. and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And first offering is fouled off. And time called prior to the 0-1. Yo one. Way inside gets out of the way. Next pitch way upstairs. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's just foul. Next pitch misses, ball three. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Bob O'Farrell digs in now. On the ground, could be two. To second for one, and that's two. The batter, number 25. Here's the shortstop at the play, number 25. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. That one fouled off. Mm -hmm. 
Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. The 0 2. Out to short. Gathers and throws to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And stepping in for the Yankees, number four. For the Yankees, the first baseman. And a pitch. Number four. And it's fouled away. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you got a chance. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Number six at the plate now. That's ball one. And the 1-0. And that one pulled foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. And a pinch. Hit hard, base hit. And he kicks off the base of the wall. One run across, the relay. Safe at home is two score on the inside the park homer. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for a reason, Bird. Always fun to see an inside the park. And man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting a second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's his great hustle from start to finish. So digging in, Joe Dugan. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Late swing fouled off. Nope. Next one That's just down. misses. Gonna count one and two. One ball, two strikes, count. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, now sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Here's the Yankees catcher now. Number 20. Swing and a ball popped up. Snags it for the second out. Now batting. The designated hitter, Pat Collins. Two outs, space is empty. Now up is the Yankees' DH, Pat Collins. And that's in there for strike one. Swing and a miss. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can.
The 0-2. Stays alive. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Ninth inning coming up. Yankees six. And the Cardinals one. And welcome back. We go to the ninth. And yeah, the batter now, number 11. Leading off for the Cardinals. The designated hitter. Number 11. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. I'll tell you this. That's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. The why to kick the pitch. Out towards right center field. Number 31 on the move to his left. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. I love the approach he now had batter. right there with that Number pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Number 28, next up for the Cardinals. Swing. In the air, out towards right center. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's one down. The batter, number 17. Now the number two hitter, number 17. In the air, left side, Musel on the move. He's got it, and there's two away. Now batting, number zero. And up next for St. Louis, number zero. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Could be extra bases. The run comes in to score from second. It's 6-2. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there. And he's rewarded with the double. There comes the skipper out of the dugout. And he's ready to make the move. Number 12 is done. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Herb Pennick. Not many pitchers have it, but he'll break out a screwball from time to time. Man at second here with two away. Now here is Jim Booker, one for three. And first offering is fouled off. This to center field, number 31 under it, and that'll do it.
Put your hand off my penis! <laughs> <laughs>